Hello everyone, welcome to my Paraview beginner tutorial. So in the last video, I showed how to create the streamlines. So I just disabled the streamlines and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create clips for the velocity field. So it's basically the arrows or vector representation of velocity. So to create clips, so select your filter where you want to apply the clip. So now we are going to apply it on the slice. So to apply the glyph, uh, click the glyph filter. So it leave everything as it is and just apply. Yeah, so now we have the vectors, but it doesn't look as nice as we want to be, want it to be. So we can now change to the way we want it. So first thing, so the arrow sizes are pretty big. So you can decrease the arrow size by this scale factor. So you can decrease it exactly by half and see whether it's good enough. Mm, it's still, it's a little bit bigger. So I will reduce it even further. Yeah, okay, it looks better. So also you see these arrows are by deep, automatically they are colored by pressure. So I'll change that to velocity. Okay, so yeah. If you don't want the background, we can also remove that for now. Okay, so now we have a very nice uh, vectors representing our flow, flow field. And you see all the, all the arrows of the same length. So we are using the only the colors to represent the magnitude of the velocity. And the arrows are basically representing only the direction of the flow, uh, not the magnitude. So if you want the arrows to represent the magnitude, you can select the scale mode and select vector, then they will scale according to the velocity value. So the arrow will represent also the magnitude. So as you see now, we have a larger arrow in the high velocity and then the small arrows near the wall. Also, we can see it near the vertices. So if you zoom in, you see we have a nice recirculation vectors. So if you want, you can even make this even smaller, if you think this is too big. Yeah, so that looks more, much better. Okay. So one more thing you can do is, now we have a more uniform distribution. So we have a uniformly distributed vector field. And there is a three more option. You can make vector created at every single point in your domain. So that will be way too much because we have uh, totally how many points? So we have 17,298 points. So that will be way too much. And other is you can make it every tenth to uh, nth point. So you can say, okay, let I want to create every tenth point. Yeah. So now you see it's they are uniformly distributed but the distribution is more uniform at each level wise so if you go in the final level we have more number of points because we have more points in the final levels yeah. so it depends on your choice you can if you want to use every end point uh, uniform spatial distribution And there are other options like you can control tip resolution. So if you zoom in, you see we have only six faces. So you can, if you want, you can make it smooth. You can make it more round. Yeah, so now you see it's more smoother. And you can ch change the tip radius, tip length, soft resolution, and so on. So there are a lot of configurations you can change. Uh, and there are also other options instead of uh, um, arrows if you want to have just a uh, spear so you can just have spear oh, okay so it scales basically according to the velocity field so we could also decrease this yeah so basically it decreases the size of the sphere and also, if you see, the spear has a very low uh, resolution, so you can also increase that. 
So you basically you can play around with different options and different parameters and see for which one is uh, suitable for your uh, test case and to better represent your data. Yeah. So we have much more smooth spheres. So it takes some time to generate all these spheres. So we have kind of spear or you can have even 2D glyph. So it's also performing for two dimensional test case. These arrows are mean pretty enough. And you see the uh, recirculation, two of the circulations here also pretty nicely represented by these arrows. Okay. We could also now we can also overlay our background velocity field. And yeah, we can see which one whether you want to have glyph or uh, 2D arrows. You can see whether you want glyph or the three dimensional arrows. I also reduce this. So, I hope you like this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to create uh, contours for pressure. So if you like this video, please click like icon below and press the bell icon to subscribe to this channel for more Paraview videos and showcase video of EH simulation framework. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.